Well, good morning. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. We've got some wind out here today, so it's very windy. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the need to breathe. I know that all of us have had times in life where it just seems like things are closing in. Sometimes it feels like the walls are closing in. All types of things are happening. It seems like from the left to the right, no matter where you turn, you've got circumstances, you've got situations, you've got obligations, you've got commitments. Maybe you've got some things going on where you don't know, you don't see, you just don't believe even sometimes how is it going to change? How are you going to get out of this deep trouble? Maybe you've got problems going on or just your day in general. You get up, you've got kids, you've got this appointment, that appointment, dentist appointment, soccer practice, baseball practice. You've got all kinds of things going on. You're dealing with things at work. Maybe you have a boss that is constantly bothering, harassing you. Maybe you've got family issues. You've got issues with uh, spouses and, and with uh, uh family members and you've just got so much and sometimes it just seems like it's so overwhelming that you can't breathe well i want to encourage you today breathe take a deep breath because with god all things are possible with god he is your comforter he is your friend you are never alone let him walk beside you lead you and guide you see it's time to step up into the things of god you know all through um uh, the bible it talks about problems it talks about situations you know in psalms it's filled with pressures often you know that it was in the form of angry armies they were hoping to kill king david but what was his unfailing response prayer I'm telling you, there's power in prayer. Start your day with prayer. Make prayer first and foremost above everything else. When the troubles come, when the pressures come, when it feels like you're drowning, when it feels like you're getting squeezed on from every side, pray. Sometimes you need to just close this with our natural words and begin to just pray. Pray to God to help. Say, help me, God, first. And then he will take care of the rest of the situations out there. See, we've got to make sure that we're keeping our heart right. Regardless of what is happening around us, keep your attitude right. Keep your heart right. See, don't get in bitterness. Don't get in hatred and unforgiveness. Because remember, the only one it affects and the only one it stops the blessing of God's of coming into your life is you. See, so don't let others determine your destiny. Don't let others and situations determine your joy and your peace and your hope in God. Start your day with prayer and then pray over everything. Pray for those situations. Plead the blood over them. Believe God can move on your behalf and keep your trust in Him. You know, in Psalms 118.5, it says, When hard-pressed... I cried to the Lord. He brought me into spacious places. Oh, what a wonderful image. A spacious place, a big place, an open place, a place where you can breathe, a place where you know that your hope and trust is in God, regardless of what's happening all around you. Take those pressures, every pressure, take them to the Lord in prayer take them to God in prayer. And I'm telling you, you will begin to feel the pressure lift. You will begin to feel your surroundings change. Remember, you frame your world with God's word and frame it first and foremost in prayer. And I'm telling you that even when the things come, they won't stay all of a sudden peace will begin. Sometimes maybe the things won't change right away. You're still gonna have busyness and maybe some conflict and things are going on, but you can have a peace that passes all understanding. See, an inner peace doesn't mean that everything's all perfect out here. An inner peace means I'm trusting God. I'm gonna give this over to him in prayer and I'm going to have peace in this situation. I'm telling you, you'll begin to feel the difference in your atmosphere set your atmosphere first and foremost in the mornings with prayer because in the rest of your day see oh it'll make such a difference you know 
catch your breath today. Let your hope begin to expand out and let you begin to see it in a different way. See, instead of letting everything rule and reign you and cause you to run around like a mouse on a, a treadmill, you're going to begin to have peace and say, no, God, I know you're going to help me with them, with this. I have peace. My house has peace, and I'm going to start my day in prayer. Remember, catch your breath with the one who gave you your breath. Give it all. Give everything to God. Pray and believe. God, God will take care of it. God's going to help you today. Oh, I want to pray for you right now. Father, I just thank you that the breath, your breath, breathes upon your people today. I thank you that even in the middle of the turmoil, even in the middle of the uncertainties, even in the middle of some things that seem so impossible today, they felt the breath of God. God, they've got refreshed. Their hope got renewed. They begin to see things like they've never seen. They're beginning to hear your voice like they've never heard it because their trust has shifted now, not in what they can do, not in what others can do, but God in what you can and will do for them starting their day with prayer. Oh, I thank you, God, that our territories are being expanded. The space is being opened up, God, to new things, God. I thank you right now for peace, peace over everyone under the sound of my voice. Let them begin to see, God. Breathe, breathe in your presence, breathe in your peace. Oh, begin to pray like they've never prayed. I'm telling you, Father, right now, I believe there's people right now they got revelation like they've never had. They're even seeking you right now in some situations. And you're already speaking clarity, confirmation, and have given them the key to unlock those doors that have seemed locked for so long. Oh, we thank you for it, Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Well, I hope today that you got refreshed. I hope today that you felt the breath of God. I hope that you realize when you cry out to him, God will answer. God hears and will answer your prayers. Oh, we thank you, Father, right now in Jesus' name. I just thank you for that peace today. Oh, please share this with your family and friends. You never know who may be going through things. You never know who might need to just be reminded to start their day with prayer. Oh, I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for liking and sharing. And until next time, Keep it simple, my sisters, and I bless my brothers.